so now we will tell about the uterus what is uterus uterine tube and over it's all of things about uterus uterine tube so first of all uterus is a latin latin word that meaning womb okay uterus meaning womb and seven to eight seven to eight centimeter in length five to seven centimeter length seven to eight centimeter in length and five to seven centimeter is the weight of this two to three centimeter is the wall thickness now Word is spent two third of the surface. Cervix is inferior to one third. Now, body of the uterus have fundus, isthmus, and cervix of the uterus. Okay, you have to remember this thing. And the uh, uterus have the layer of the uterus are perimetrium, myometrium, and endometrium. Okay, endometrium have two layer: functional layer and basal layer. Functional layer is composed of compact layer and spongy layer. Compact layer means connective tissues around the neck of the uterine vein and spongy layer is the dilated and torture body uterine vein are present in the spongy layer now just come here and see actually this is the fundus this is actually the uterus of the body okay this is the fundus of the body this is the vagina okay now you can compare cervix isthmus body this is the cervix isthmus is like a neck okay and this is the body body have the upper superior part is called fundus and inner is a uterine cavity okay now this is the internal osmin this is cervical canal this is the cervical canal okay now this is the now just come here to the uterine cavity this is the uterine cavity uterine part this is the actually this is the if you zoom in this is the isthmus this is the ampulla and this is the ovary isthmus is the Pelupian tube is composed of ampulla isthmus. Ampulla we are the fertilization. Fertilization takes place in the ampulla. Okay, it's so easy. And, and now just go here and you have this is the this is the perimetrium, endometrium, myometrium, myometrium, and endometrium. If you enlarge the endometrium, so you will see this is the endometrial epithelium. This is the endometrial epithelium. Okay, this is the capillary, this is the uterine lumen. Uterine lumen now here are the endometrium this is the endometrium endometrium composed of compact and spongy the compact is a sp connective tissues and sponge is also connective tissue compact uh, sponges have a glands and you know, dilated portions okay so the sponges have gland this vessel everything and glands okay and the, another thing is myometrium myometrium help myometrium this is the myometrium myometrium help in the during the parturition or when babies is during birth of the baby myometrium contract so strongly and due to which the baby come out from the vagina through the vagina okay now you can uterine tube is approximately 10 centimeter uterine tube is also called fallopian tube okay it is a ampulla at the uterine tube okay now about the ovaries ovaries we already discussed that the close to the lateral pelvic cavity you have to remember this lateral pelvic cavity ovaries where is is close to lateral pelvic cavity you have to remember this okay another is ovary produce estrogen and progesterone ovaries ovaries produce progesterone progesterone and estrogen progesterone and estrogen progesterone secreted when progesterone secreted it act on the different things okay it maintain the endometrium estrogen increase the endometrial lining and endometrial thickening okay this is about the endometrium now comes to the uh, we have discussed the ovaries okay and this is everything about ovary is to lateral pelvic cavity this is the lateral pelvic cavity near to the lateral pelvic cavity okay and now about the female reproductive cycle we will explain the female reproductive cycle 